Two of the most common problems for artists are burnout and art block. One has a simple fix, the other is slightly more difficult to overcome. I thought I'd share with you my process for this piece behind me and also talk a little bit about my experience with block and burnout to hopefully help you if you're struggling or if you're feeling down about your own art. Here is my canvas or well it's paper mounted to board and this is something new that I'm trying. I don't usually mount my paper to board. What I've done is projected my picture and drawn it out in pencil, just an HB pencil. I have projected it and I'm not going to show you the projecting process because I have to project stuff in my bedroom and my bedroom is embarrassingly messy. So I'm not going to show you that process, but I projected it out. I don't think it's cheating and yeah, I'm just going to get started. It's going to be, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I've got a mother snow leopard with a young cub and that young cub is about to wake up its sleeping mother and that's the idea behind this picture. I decided to start with the cub because I thought this was going to be the most difficult to do because it was a lot smaller than the mother. I also wanted the cub to be almost like a focal point of the picture because it was looking directly at you. It's going to engage with the viewer because those eyes are staring directly forward. No matter where you're looking, they're going to be looking around the room. The vast majority of my process involves adding charcoal to the canvas, pushing it around with different tools, removing it with different erasers, and then adding more charcoal to create my desired effects. That's going to be pretty much it for today. I've not actually got that much done. Uh, this little cub is actually posing like a real challenge and I am really struggling with getting it to look right, but I'm happy with it now. And Amber said it looks good, so that's all that matters. Amber is just stood slightly off camera, smiling and grinning to herself right now. I'm going to leave the cub for now and move on to the mum and see how it goes. I might have to come back and refine the cub later on but we'll see, and then tomorrow's job I think is just cracking on with the mum. It's a new day and I've been greeted by a little visitor. I've just been doing a little bit of research into vlogging and I think it's now time to get up and start some painting. Time to get up, Charlie. Have you seen this? I'm comfy there. After being abandoned by my supposedly loyal companion, it was time to head back to the studio and get started with my day. One of the most common problems for artists is art block. It's when you want to create something, but you don't really know what to do. And there's a few things that you can do to fix this. One is I turn to other artists for inspiration. I look at their work, I look at what they're doing, and hope it inspires me to get started. Other things, go for a walk, take a break, or like even like play with your dog. Do something a little bit different for five or ten minutes. There's also try a new style, so do something completely different than what you'd usually do, or even just something as simple as starting to make some random expressive marks on paper and see what happens. But ultimately, the best advice for getting over art block is to just do it. I'm feeling much better after getting stuck in and sometimes the best way to get over artist block is to just get stuck in and you actually find once you start something the ideas just begin to flow and it makes the whole process so much easier. Rather than just sitting and like planning what you're going to do, just get stuck in, just start something and then let those ideas flow and you'll find that the best creations that you make are when you're in that flow and the only way to really get into it is just get started. So I've been drawing for about an hour and a half and I've finished the snow leopard's head and I think it's time for lunch. Should we go get some lunch? Come on. Okay, I've just eaten, 
Now I'm going to get back to it and work on the pause and hopefully get a little bit more of the body done today. Artist block is relatively easy to fix. The real problem is burnout. This is essentially, or at least for me, a form of depression, really. It's where you start doubting yourself, doubt your ability, and you lose motivation to create entirely. Because, well, what's the point? And that can be really dangerous for artists. Well, it can be dangerous for anyone, and it's something that you have to watch out for, especially if you're trying to create a career out of your artwork, and you have to manage it if it happens to you. Hey guys, I've just got back from Amber's, and we've been having a bit of a chat about like art and stuff, and I'm finding it so hard to get motivated at the minute. Like, this week, in particular like i've finished all those big charcoal pieces and i just feel like i've got nothing to sort of do or strive towards i'm really struggling to find inspiration for what to work on next I, i've got loads of like ideas of things that i want to try and a new technique that i know i want to try but i just don't know what to create using that technique and yeah it's just feeling a bit down about art and my work at the minute because i know i want to improve and i know i want to challenge myself but i don't really know what that looks like just yet and it's kind of frustrating it's kind of disheartening and it's something that everyone goes through but it just sucks and it happens all the time well not all the time but it happens regularly and it's just rubbish and you've just got to power through and i just i know there will be a way out and i know i will feel inspired again in the future but at the minute i just feel like absolute rubbish sorry for the weird car moan but i don't know i just thought i would film it and give you guys an insight and let you know that like artist block and these feelings they happen to everyone and you're not alone and it's crap but you've just got to power through and get on with it so i've been sort of putting off this painting <laughs> I've had a bit of a nightmare weekend, really, and a bit of a nightmare week last week. I'm not going to go into the details as to why it's been pretty stressful, really. Got a lot on my mind. It's, it's nothing art-related, but it's nice that my art is acting as a little bit of a stress release. And I've not done any art over the weekend, so it has been a little bit of a break. And I do think having breaks from your art is a great way to prevent burnout and also increase your productivity. When it comes to dealing with burnout, there are a few steps to help you manage the process and make your life a little bit easier. First, you need to identify why you're feeling that way. You can't fix a problem that you don't understand. Is your schedule too full? Is your work looking too similar? Are you running out of new ideas? Do you feel exhausted? Or is your confidence down? Each of those things is going to require a slightly different fix. So grab a notepad and start thinking through what's wrong. As artists, a lot of our career relies on our creativity. And if we let it, it can feel like that creativity is our entire identity. It's who we are. So when we hit that burnout, it can feel like a pretty devastating blow to our self-confidence. There's a heck of a lot of pressure to produce better and better work. Changing your mindset can help you overcome the burnout faster. You need to remember that you haven't exhausted your well of creativity. This isn't it. All you've done is overwork your creative muscle. And like with any muscle, your creativity needs to be rested. Accepting that burnout is part of the process makes it much easier to deal with. If it's a mild case of burnout, move on to something else. Have multiple pieces set up in your studio, and as soon as you feel that wall coming, switch it up and work on a different piece. It's important to remember though that creativity comes and goes, but it's very unlikely to come by forcing it. So if you need to, try not to feel ashamed for taking a night off, or even a week off. Burnout is your body's way of telling you that you just need to chill out and take a break. Go out, take a walk, have a night with friends and just vent. 
anything to take your mind away from your work. And don't feel guilty about it. It happens to even the most successful artists. And accepting taking breaks is part of that creative process is going to ease your mind and make your artistic life a heck of a lot less stressful. And it's going to help you get over that feeling of self-doubt, despair, and get over burnout so much faster. I've just finished my charcoal drawing. As you can see, I am covered in mess. This is the state of my hands. They are absolutely filthy, but here's the finished piece. What do you think? I've decided to call this piece five more minutes because of the interaction between the cub and the mother and the original will be available. Yep, yeah, this exact one that I'm touching and holding right now. I'm also going to be doing a set of limited edition prints. Now there's only going to be 10 of these and I will never ever make any more. So if you want one, you better act fast. I'll pop a link down to my website studiowildlife.com which is where you'll be able to purchase them. Thank you so much to everyone that's watched this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do give it a like and subscribe. And please feel free to share any of your own tips for overcoming artist block and burnout. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.